It's kind of I think it's kind of a, a real interesting story of how you start off at the Catholic school, start off going to a Catholic school, felt the hypocrisy, left, yeah, and then and then what you you you, you landed with some wrong people and stuff, and then you ended up coming back, and now your faith is restored. Do I have that right? Yeah, that's it. it really, in a nutshell, um, it's it's been a beautiful, very long and interesting journey, um, and. I, you know, I, and I see it from both sides now with people because I too very much like anybody who doesn't really have a personal relationship uh, with the Lord. I hate it. Oh my God. I couldn't stand any evangelism or anybody who was like quote unquote preaching. And, you know, I was always like, oh no, there's a way better life out there and it's witchcraft and, uh, you know, all the other gods that exist, you know? Um, and I did, I tried finding peace and happiness in the temporary worldly lifestyle that is very prevalent. And, you know, you can, you can definitely, it exists. It's not like, it's not real. Um, there's definitely a whole other world out there. Um, and for a short period of time, you can get some relief there. Um, you know, whether it be substances, um things places people you name it um and that's why it can draw people in because you know there it does have a positive effect for a while you know but then you find yourself getting deeper and deeper into that rabbit hole of like oh so i went on that trip but i'm still not better so let's try another thing and let's get another shaman or let's you know, and it's just, you're never, you're never satisfied because nothing can give you the peace that resides within you. So, and I can say that with like, you know, um, conviction because I've been where I am now and I've also been in that other world. And so it's kind of like, I feel like I get the opportunity to be able to give my perspective from both worlds. And I just know that this world is a lot more peaceful. Now it doesn't come without its troubles. Um, yeah, because when you're when you're walking in the light and you've left that world behind, um, you know the enemy doesn't like that at all. That's why my song "Saving Grace." I speak a lot about that. Um, that you know the devil comes to attack you even stronger because he wants what he once had. Um, and so it's kind of like a compliment almost when he's after you <laughs> because I know I'm on the right track and I'm doing the right thing and I'm doing my calling when he's when I'm up against him all the time. And like I know it sounds woo-woo to people who are like, oh, the good and the bad and the evil and the but like, you know, it's we live in a fallen world, whether you like to admit that or not. So and I just know from my own personal life that I I'm victim to it a lot, but don't play the victim. You know, it's the what, worst. Would, would you say you just went out looking at other, like exploring basically, and that's what led you there? Or did or did, did someone have like an influence of, over you, almost like trying to recruit you into that? Absolutely. Uh, a bit of both, actually. Um, my curiosity definitely led me down uh, those different roads. And then certain people, uh, definitely one in particular decided to take complete advantage of that, the vulnerability and the want for me to like explore more uh, was a gateway for, for somebody to go, okay, you'll be my muse then. And uh, yeah, and that's sad because I came to realize that a lot of the people, I used to go to like these energy healers and palm readers and all these people who like claim to do good and I genuinely don't think they're out there in the world to do bad. I think they think they're doing good, but realistically it's just, you're spending a lot of money and a lot of energy and time in something that's like, it's why would you want to contact the dead? 